sad is the evening all the level sand lies left and lonely while the restless sea tired of the green caresses of the land withdraws into its own infinity but still more sad this white and chilly dawn filling the vacant spaces of the sky while little winds blow here and there forlorn and all the stars weary of shining die and more than desolate to wake to rise leaving the couch where softly sleeping still what through the past night made my heaven lies and looking out across the window sill see from the upper window's vantage ground mankind slip into harness once again and wearily resume his daily round of love and labour toil and strife and pain how the sad thoughts slip back across the night the whole thing seems so aimless and so vain what use the raptures passion and delight burnt out as though they could not wake again the worn-out nerves and weary brain repeat the question whither all these passions tend this curious thirst so painful and so sweet so fierce so very short-lived to what end even if seeking for ourselves the race the only immortality we know even if from the flower of our embrace some spark should kindle or some fruit should grow what were the use the gain to us or it that we should cause another you or i another life from our light passion lit to suffer like ourselves awhile and die what aim what end indeed our being runs in a closed circle all we know or see tends to assure us that a thousand suns teeming perchance with life have ceased to be ah the grey dawn seems more than desolate and the past night of passion worse than waste love but a useless flower that soon or late turns to a fruit with bitter aftertaste youth even youth seems futile and forlorn while the new day grows slowly white above pale and reproachful comes the chilly dawn after the fervour of a night of love end of poem